Hark, damsel. Who art thou? Who doth pierce the hollow of mine ear? Do thou not remember Ryan from Mr. Calhoun's class? I do recall thee. Tis three years since our graduation. Wherefore do you text? I desired a word from a bygone comrade. I suppose thy reason is fair. How dost thou? All is well. I have returned to the house of my lord father on leave from university. Ah, thou liest warm at home, secure and safe. I reside here always, as my true lids at OCU. Would that I could pass some hours by your side. Prithee, sir, my hours are claimed by many things. Before to school I must return. Have you no spare moments? Nay. Damn. Thou owest me fair hour when thou doth return to Oklahoma City. Deceive me not, lady. Hmm? Did Cupid not shoot thee with a sweet arrows back in math class? Thy question confounds me. Thou wert as changeable as a spring day. One moment cold, the next all fire. Hark! Send nudes. I beg thy pardon? Is not thy wish to share what thy bodice doth conceal? Wherefore? Nay, sir. Prithee, an image of thy loins? Nay, sir, why doth thou so abuse me? Why wreath thyself in modesty? Tis the work of a moment, and to me would be a casket of treasure. I have pledged my love to another. Thy way-faced slut, I was deceived in thy virtue. Thou art just like all the other wantons. I have proffered my heart, and now have stepped upon it, favoring dull-witted shads. I sought not to wound thy pride, but our acquaintance did not outlast our group project in junior year. It is passing strange for thou to text me unprompted, demanding images of my loins and bosom. Would thou wert clean enough to spit upon, bestow thy nudes upon me. But like your bosom, it matters not. Thy future lord need have no knowledge. Depart, sir. Show thyself no more. Thou hateful withered hag! I beg thy forgiveness, lady. My base words were unbecoming for a damsel such as thee. Indeed they were. I should have stayed my tongue, and stayed my ungentlemanly storm of feeling. Tis true. So, send thy nudes? <laughs>